This story is about a small mouse who lived in the fields. He lived in a great expanse of grass, and there he could see so far. Perhaps to him it was many, many, many miles to the far horizon, the woods and forests beyond. So for him he had all this expanse of grass where he could run free. But this could be a problem. He was always running about, making haste and making a big burden for himself, thinking he had so much to do. He thought himself so important that he should run around fulfilling all the tasks he could imagine within his mind. He was so busy running around that he would miss so much, only focusing on what was ahead, beyond his reach, beyond his abilities and beyond what he could fulfil in the now. But even so, the horizon was filled with the glorious wonder of the goals he yet could fulfil. And so it was, as he grew older, he became tired, quite exhausted by all this energy spent on perhaps worthless things and enterprises. And then one day an owl passed by, and because he was not hungry, saw the mouse and actually felt a little sorry for him. So he flew down and held him under his claw. My friend, he said, I will not eat you today because I am not hungry. I have had my fill. But I would ask you, why do you run around so much with a seamless quest for I don't know what? And perhaps no one knows what, where or why, but so it seems. Why do you do this? And the little mouse, gracious in his humility as always, said, Thank you for not eating me, Mr. Owl, because I have so much to fulfill and so much to do. And the owl thought for a moment and said, Why? There is not much that I can see that you really need to do. And as you are always racing around, what indeed do you miss? What could you find within you that would give you so much more? Have you not thought to sit quietly? Spend some thoughts venturing in, exploring and searching for the wondrous treasures that lie within your mind. And the little mouse said, What treasures? Surely all I want is out here in my field. The owl responded, Deep within your mind there are vast wonders to be found in many, many places much bigger than your field. More content, more wonders, more gems of wisdom you would find if only you could apply your mind to search. The place within your mind is as big as the universe and perhaps even beyond, far bigger than your field. And what would that give you? Surely wondrous beauty of great magnitude far beyond what you could find around you here in amongst your grass. Hmm, said the mouse, that sounds very good. But how can I find this place and all this treasure? First, you must sit still. You must quietly go within yourself. Take a few deep breaths and learn how to search quietly in the depths of your very being. For there you will find a path beyond your imagining, which you must step forward upon to find the true purpose in your life. It is there. And so it was that the mouse lived for another day and more, and spent his time quietly sitting still, searching within himself, and found so much more than he did when he was racing around his field.